not often you find a 500 million year old fossil on sale, but then again, this isn't your average store. We deal with a lot of, how do I put this? <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. I mean, you do have a skeleton above your head, so. <laughs> it's true. This is New York City's evolution store, an attraction in Manhattan since 1993. I knew I was in the right place when I saw this guy greeting me at the door. It's like a museum, except this stuff you can take home. How much was is that? What'd this one's say? 39. The dog here, how much would that go for? It'd be over. Okay. okay. Probably like 160. Raccoon is 29. Uh, muskrat, 16. There's an item for everybody here. I really like learning new things every single day. I like being able to see something that I've never seen before and I have to study it because I can't explain it to people if I don't study it and I can't do my job if I can't explain it to someone. Items are found all around the world by the same experts who supply museums, but not every item can go up for sale. It's a combination of wondering what you can have and then finding out whether or not you can have it or not. There are a couple of animals that are CITES protected and a lot of the reasons for that is because they're either endangered or protected. And of course, a store like this has a wide variety of customers. We have a lot of people who think it's a museum, who ask if we can give tours, um, who don't believe that anything is real. I've gotten a couple of people who actually get angry when I keep insisting that it is real. <laughs> like, what? no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> so come check it out and put Olivia's knowledge to the test. You can learn more by going to evolutionstore.com and remember to tweet me your thoughts at Diana Blast or the show at Chasing News.